speaking up one day and you are unable to speak because you have lost your voice box. Now, strange as it seems, this is the life of Robert Mwangi, a man who smoked tobacco for 25 years and was diagnosed with larynx cancer. Now, Cecilia Lubanga brings us the story of a man who now campaigns strongly against the use of tobacco, a killer substance that is consumed by at least one out of six men in Kenya. Drugs and substance abuse has become a menace that has taken root amongst the most youthful section of the society, a factor that hinders the wholesome progress of a nation. Oftentimes, one does not really comprehend the impact that drugs have to their health, and in most cases, it's often when one gets to a point of no return. Robert Mwangi narrates the ordeal that befell his life the moment he settled for tobacco as his poison. No one will disagree that it is pain that makes a human being. It is either we are trying to run away from it or coming up both ways to manage it. It is a different case though when you know that your pain is self-inflicted. Robert Mwangi reflects on days when you will talk all day long without limits, laugh at jokes and respond without having to attach an enabling device for him to do what is natural, talk. Mwangi now speaks with the aid of an artificial larynx that he places under his chin so that he is heard by whoever engages him. He says it was due to peer pressure that he found himself using tobacco. A habit that started with one cigarette saw him puff through 20 sticks a day, drawing him closer to his grave than he realized as days and years went by. During our days, we thought that smoking was the in vain. We thought smoking could even make you get a girlfriend or something like that because you are a man of a class. We didn't know that tobacco is very addictive, especially because of the nicotine that is in tobacco. That's why I'm very bitter with that drug called tobacco. And I believe if it wasn't for tobacco, I would still be having my voice all this time. I never knew that tobacco is a dangerous drug until I was diagnosed with voice box cancer. The pain he went through, he says, the worst he has ever experienced. One that still sends shivers down his spine when he remembers. My lowest time as a man was when I was going through a lot of pain during the radiotherapy sessions. That was the year 2003. I was subjected to that and three radiotherapy sessions to try for the doctors to try and clear the cancer cells which were on my throat. I went through a lot of pain. My tongue was full of sores because of the radiation. I remember for a period of two and a half years between 2003 and 2006, I lost saliva in my mouth. I could only lubricate my mouth by sipping water. I believe that was my lowest moment, which made me regret the first cigarette I smoked when I was in secondary school. I regretted so much that I pray to God to spare my life so that I can campaign against tobacco use and help other young people or other men stop using these products. Managing his condition wasn't a walk in the park either. He watched helplessly as he burnt over 5 million shillings on treatment, money that cost him a lifetime of investment. The money I spent and the pain is not worth starting to smoke. I told her that, that money was enough to buy myself even abroad and even put up a house. So I regret having started smoking in the first place. 
living a life of regret altogether, with a sigh of relief written all over his entire demeanor. He holds several titles under his belt that have gone an extra mile to give his new life a purpose. As a cancer survivor, an addiction counselor, a motivational speaker, an author and a campaigner against tobacco, he continues to transform lives in many ways. There are very many that call me and tell me they had me through the media and they had my story and some of them tell me they stopped both with using tobacco products but again I may not even concentrate so much on the number of people I've been able to talk to and I've been able to make them change their habit of using tobacco products. My belief is if I can only change one person that has always been my target, if I'm able to transform two people, then that one I consider it to be a bonus. When I change one person, then he also goes and changes another one. That is the only way we are going to help this country. One in every 12 Kenyans aged 15 to 65 years are currently using tobacco, a majority being men. This is in accordance with the 2022 National Survey on the status of drug and substance abuse in Kenya. Even as the government is making efforts to cut on drug and substance abuse, Robert Mwangi can only remain hopeful that a majority of men who use tobacco understand the magnitude of the damage they are causing on themselves. Let me tell whoever is a smoker outside is there or the tobacco user and a tobacco product damages your health. Many of the people I have cancelled and they have stopped smoking. I tell them after you stop smoking cigarettes, the first six months, the first person to tell you that you have improved is your wife. Because smoking reduces your bad performance. So the moment you stop smoking cigarettes, the first person to congratulate you is always your wife. Cecilia Lubanga, Look Up TV.